So we're going to start off with, I feel led to start off here with this message. Oh yeah, before I start this message, guys, I, I do want to say that during the meditation, during the time that I do before I actually do this video for you guys, when I meditated, I was picking up that a lot of you were feeling stuck and trapped about a situation that was released in the past. You could have been in a bond with a fire sign and that connection ended. They could be the mother of your children, but that person moved away to another location, a, a different place. They had to make a decision and they did and they're working on their finances and trying to get stability going. If you're wondering what this person is up to, they are loving themselves, they're respecting themselves, they're respecting others. I feel like whoever this was that left the situation, left the fire sign, if it was you or the other person, one of you had different kind of morals and values than the other. So there was some conflict in the situation that caused a lot of mishaps, a lot of arguing and fighting. And so finally that came to an end. And I feel as if the children are getting older and they are glad that you guys didn't stay together, basically. That's what I'm picking up here. So on this side, for this person, we have leadership. If you want to follow along in the book, this is on page 69. This is the 39th card in the deck. Let's see what the book has to say for leadership. I just feel like there is somebody here that's a strong leader, a strong role model. Like I was picking up with the fire sign, I feel like they were the ones that took charge of the situation and they were being a leader and a role model and that's why they moved to calmer waters. They moved to a calmer space, place, a place of peace and harmony. That's where they're going. They're going toward their true happiness. So with this gift, this person here is a leader. They're gifted. You could be dealing with somebody that is very spiritual. This says, this image celebrates the scarceness of the stewardship of the planet. It calls us to inspire our youth to care for the earth so as to preserve it for future generations to come. Be mindful all day how much water you use and trash you make. Make a commitment to be always aware of this and make an effort to reduce your waste. Connect with a young person and inspire them regarding their stewardship of the earth. Share with them about being aware of what impacts they have on the planet and that their actions are very important too. The special message for this card is that you are being inspired to take a stand for something you believe in. It can be challenging when everyone seems to think otherwise. You are strong to stand in your truth. The universe stands behind you, so you are being protected right now. Uh, guardian angels are around you. I just feel like you are being protected. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Sagittarius type person. The angel number for this card is 3,969. 3, 9, 6, 39, and 69. 396, 969. Those are the numbers that I was picking up for all the angel numbers. I do at the end will tell you an angel message re uh, related to these numbers. You can go after the video or right now and look at the angel numbers to get more information if you'd like. Sanctuary. Wow, somebody else got sanctuary. I can't remember who it was, but this is take time out for the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. Okay, so this person has got a lot of burdens, a lot of things, a lot of tasks that they're doing, and they need to take time away because they are overly working in some kind of project. They're spending too much time being a leader, a role model, too much time focused on doing some kind of task to accomplish. And it's starting to get overwhelming and you need to take a break. It's time to relax. If you are working repeatedly all day long, you need to take interval breaks like 20 minute work for 20, 25 minutes and take about a five minute break. You can go back at it every 20, 25, 30 minutes. If you are trying to memorize and study things that will help with you learning and it going into long term memory than short term memory. I'm going to sit here and meditate for a minute and try to think who actually had this card. I recall, I think it was Virgo, but I can't remember which side the sanctuary card was on. But I do recall the leadership card being on the left hand side of Virgo. So they all as well got leadership. Okay. The next message we got is purpose. 
you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. Somebody here is very dedicated and very loving, very loyal, very determined. They put a lot of love into their creativity and into the things that they love to do. They are a go-getter. They are very inspiring to others. They know that there is a purpose in life and they are trying to have a purpose to bring others toward a, a certain kind of way of being, trying to be at a higher vibration, trying to bring people to a higher vibration and bring this world to peace and love and joy. Now, let's see what's going on on this side for this person. We have motivation. Wow. The little girl rotter. This person needs motivation on this side. This person is not really motivated. They are not a leader. They're a follower. This person may get inspired by this person over here. If you're following along in the book, go to page 73. This is the 73rd page. This is the 43rd card in the deck on page 73. And I would like to say to you, when I see the number 4 and 3, love you. So 43 to me means love you. I see hearts all the time and every day. And if you guys are watching my videos, you know this because I talk about it all the time. Motivation. This image celebrates the passion to go where you have never gone before. It causes bravely to and intentionally choose to navigate in uncharted but extremely promising waters of a well-lived life. Start a new project, but make sure it is one that pushes your comfort zone. Choose one that you would like to do, but always seem to have an excuse not to do. Go for it. Take it one step at a time. The universe is there to support you. The special message for this card is that you are being inspired to break free. You are in a stagnant rut and need to let go of something in order to push through the energy blockage that is holding you there. It starts with the intention to be free. So a lot of you are feeling stuck, like I was saying in the meditation, what I was feeling strongly like you're stuck about a fire sign and you can't let them go. They have let you go. There was some reason here. This person wasn't motivated to work on the relationship. Something happened and someone took charge of the situation and went into calmer waters like I was picking up here. I was picking that up with a fire sign during the meditation that they went into calmer waters and this could be the fire sign on this side. And this could be you, Gemini, having to get motivation, starting to look up toward this person and seeing what they were saying about how they wanted a relationship to be and realizing that you guys didn't click, you didn't have the same kind of concept, the same kind of beliefs in a situation. Oh, here's leadership. Wow, it comes out on you guys' side. So now you're taking the leadership role. Step into your leadership. Share your message. Inspire and empower others, guys. You are, I feel like a lot of you are journaling in a book and writing stuff down, making like a novel, making poems, just a person that likes to write things. You need to share your creativity. Become a leader of your own world. Okay, you're finally taking charge. You're seeing this person over here as being a take charge person, taking charge of their own life and doing the things they love to do. And it could be something spiritual that they decided to turn in a direction of spirit. And you are here getting motivation and empowered, basically, and able to become a leader, a role model as well. Because you've learned from a past experience that from someone that was divinely guided to be sent to your path so that you guys can learn lessons together. Now, I did not say the a, a numbers is here. The zodiac people that would be attached to this card would be Cancer or a Cancer Gemini, a Libra or a Libra Gemini. So I'm going to pick up for this. The angel number is 4,373, 43, 73, 4, 3, or a 7. 437, 373, and that's what I'm picking up with that one for angel numbers. This angel number over here is going to be 28, 51, 285, 2,851, I wish I already said that, I think, 51. The zodiac attached to this card would be Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aries. So we're going to start off with, I feel led to start off here with this message. Oh yeah, before I start this message, guys, I, I do want to say that 
during the meditation during the time that I do before I actually do this video for you guys when I meditated I was picking up that a lot of you were feeling stuck and trapped about a situation that was released in the past you could have been in a bond with a fire sign and that connection ended they could be the mother of your children but that person moved away to another location a, a different place they had to make a decision and they did and they're working on their finances and trying to get stability going if you're wondering what this person is up to they are loving themselves they're respecting themselves they're respecting others i feel like whoever this was that left the situation left the fire sign if it was you or the other person one of you had different kind of morals and values than the other so there was some conflict in the situation that caused a lot of mishaps a lot of arguing and fighting and so finally that came to an end and I feel as if the children are getting older and they are glad that you guys didn't stay together basically that's what I'm picking up here so on this side for this person we have leadership if you want to follow along in the book this is on page 69 this is the 39th card in the deck let's see what the book has to say for leadership I just feel like there is somebody here that's a strong leader a strong role model like I was picking up with the fire sign I feel like they were the ones that took charge of the situation and they were being a leader and a role model and that's why they moved to calmer waters they moved to a calmer space place a place of peace and harmony that's where they're going they're going toward their true happiness so with this gift this person here is a leader they're gifted you could be dealing with somebody that is very spiritual this says this image celebrates the scarceness of the stewardship of the planet it calls us to inspire our youth to care for the earth so as to preserve it for future generations to come be mindful all day how much water you use and trash you make make a commitment to be always aware of this and make an effort to reduce your waste connect with a young person and inspire them regarding their stewardship of the earth share with them about being aware of what impacts they have on the planet and that their actions are very important too the special message for this card is that you are being inspired to take a stand for something you believe in it can be challenging when everyone seems to think otherwise you are strong to stand in your truth the universe stands behind you so you are being protected right now uh, guardian angels are around you I just feel like you are being protected you could be dealing with a cancer a Sagittarius type person the angel number for this card is 3969 three nine six 39 and 69 396 969 those are the numbers that I was picking up for all the angel numbers I do at the end will tell you an angel message re uh, related to these numbers you can go after the video or right now and look at the angel numbers to get more information if you like sanctuary wow somebody else got sanctuary I can't remember who it was but this is take time out for the world spend more time alone meditate or go on a retreat okay so this person has got a lot of burdens a lot of things a lot of tasks that they're doing and they need to take time away because they are overly working in some kind of project they're spending too much time being a leader a role model too much time focused on doing some kind of task to accomplish and it's starting to get overwhelming and you need to take a break it's time to relax if you are working repeatedly all day long you need to take interval breaks like 20 minute work for 20 25 minutes and take about a five minute break you can go back at it every 20 25 30 minutes if you are trying to memorize and study things that will help with you learning and it going into long-term memory than short-term memory I'm gonna sit here and meditate for a minute and try to think who actually had this card I recall I think it was Virgo but I can't remember which side the sanctuary card was on but I do recall the leadership card being on the left hand side of Virgo so they all as well got leadership okay the next message we got is purpose you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love somebody here is very dedicated and very 
loving, very loyal, very determined. They put a lot of love into their creation. The last message has passed. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. Wow. So finally, somebody finally let go of something that happened in the past. They were finally having to forgive themselves for things that occurred that they may have done to cause this relationship to end. Either this person on this side came forward and said, I'm sorry for the things that have occurred, or this person here is forgiving this person. It's either this person forgiving this person or this person forgiving this person. And whoever made the mistakes is forgiving themselves within. They are letting go of past issues. They're not going to hold on. This person, I feel like with this being right here, I feel very strongly like they have hold grudges and they will not let things go and they let it build up and it just gets festered up and makes them get angry. They can't control their issues, but they're finally letting this go and they're learning how to master their emotions and they're seeing their own true emotions of how they treat others around them and that's what's causing them to change the way they have been before they're not wanting to be like the past and they're going to be more like a leader and a role model and try to be at a higher vibration they're moving up to the next level basically let's get a daily healing message for both sides okay i want to take that one for that side that one for that side this one says use equanimity to calm your emotions like I was picking up with this side, this person didn't know how to calm their emotions, how they could, they're starting to recognize when they start to feel a certain way. And so they're, now that they're doing that, they can try to step back and count and try to control and learn how to control their emotions if it comes to anger issues. Know thyself. It is the most important task you have. So this person knows thyself. They know their self-worth and they let go of anybody that doesn't have the same kind of values and morals and that doesn't want to respect them. I hope you guys like this message. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And before I end this message, I want to go ahead and tell you guys on this side, I don't think I finished the angel numbers and zodiac numbers. This is going to be Cancer, Aries, Virgo, or Leo. And angel numbers is 4,165, 65, 41, 4, 1, 6, and 5. And then for this card, the zodiac is Gemini, Aries, angel number three or one. And for this one, angel number 26, two or six, and zodiac Taurus and Virgo. On these, I did not attach any of those signs yet to this deck yet. It's a process I have to do to every deck. So I go through and have them all organized and base it on the numbers of the deck like how they come in alphabetical order or whatever the book says basically but i'm going to make a video on that that's something different and i'll explain about that but if you guys on another video i'll explain about that on another video but if you guys want to learn as you go you just have a notebook and pen when you're watching my videos and just write notes down about what kind of decks i use you find the decks that you want just go into the description box to find out the decks that i use and just follow along and you can learn that deck I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And always remember, guys, treat others the way you want to be treated. God bless. Hey, guys, I'm back. If you stayed for this long, I forgot to read the angel number. I was going to pick one of the cards, and this is the card that I picked, 31. We are going to read angel 31 in the Dorian Virtue book and see what your angel message is. The Ascendant Masters ask you to look past all earthly illusions and see the divine perfection within you other people in your current situation as you see divine perfection in your mind it manifests externally in your relationships career health and other life areas so take a look of how you are and try to be mindful of how people perceive you or how you're perceiving yourself see yourself in a different light try to start doing different things try to get out of the negative mindset start being more positive and people around you will see how you are changing there is a purpose for everyone in life, people learn things all the time from other people. And what is your purpose? What did you learn from this? And how are you improving to become a better you? And to be better for those around you? Sorry that I forgot your message. And I can't remember if I did it for the other signs. But I've been so busy doing a whole bunch of different tasks. And I am trying to get my website fixed and going. So I hope you guys can go check that website out. And see all the progress that I've done so far. 
I do not have a full-time job no more. My jaw closed because it's coronavirus, but here I am doing this full-time, so I hope you guys enjoy. Always remember, treat others the way you want to be treated. God bless.